Hi, question number five taken from October 2015, advanced level max HSC P3. The equation of a curve is y is equal to e to the two e to two, e to the power of minus two x tan x for zero is less or equal to x less or equal to half pi. First part, obtain exp an expression for dy by dx and show that it can be written in the form e to the power of minus 2x times in brackets a plus b tan x to the square where a and b are constants. For the second part explain why the gradient of the curve is never negative and for the third part find the value of x for which the gradient is least. In total this question carries seven marks. Okay, So let's uh, do this quite nicely here. All right. Now, what do we have? The equation of the curve. Okay. First part. Y is equal to e to the power of minus 2x times tan x. This is product rule. I'm sure you are very familiar with product rule. Okay. And uh, so we're going to say this is u and this is v. So u is equal to um, e to the power of minus 2x and differentiate that we get du by dx is equal to minus 2e to the power of minus 2x. We have v is equal to tan of x and therefore dv by dx is equal to sec square x. So what is dy by dx? dy by dx is going to be u dv by dx plus v du by dx. So u dv by dx e to the power of minus 2x times sec square x plus v d by dx. So minus 2e to the power of minus 2x times the tan of x e to the power of minus 2x e to the power of minus 2x is common. We have sec square x. What is sec square x? We know that um, uh, sine square x is cos square x is equal to 1. So from this we can find what sec square x can be. What is sec square x anyway? It is 1 upon cos square x. So if you put cos here, sine divided by cos is going to give you tan x square x, tan square x, plus cos square x divided by cos square x is 1 is equal to 1 divided by cos square x is sec square x. So sec square x is tan square x plus 1. So we can replace this by tan square x plus 1. So we have tan square x plus 1 in brackets. Plus minus becomes minus 2 tan x. So if we rearrange this going to become tan square x minus 2 tan x plus 1. Factorize this whole expression here. You're going to get tan x times tan x is tan square x. 1 of 1, 1 minus 2, so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So in other words, we have e to the power of minus 2x into tan x minus 1 to the square. Now we were told to show that it can be written as e to the power of minus 2x um, times a plus b tan of x. So e to the power of 2 to the power minus 2x, e to the power minus 2x, tan x, tan x, b is 1 minus 1 is a. Therefore we can say if you wish dy by dx is equal to e to the power of minus 2x into minus 1 plus tan of x to the square and here we are. <coughs> now for the second part we have to explain why this gradient is always positive. Now this is quite simple. Uh, this e to the power of minus 2x for whatever 
value of x it is positive and therefore also minus 1 plus tan square tan x to the square for whatever I mean any value of x any real value of x it's positive and the product of these two is going to give us positive anyway therefore the gradient can never be or is can never be negative here we are and for the last part we need to find the value of x for which the gradient is least gradient is the least we mean dy by dx is greater or equal to zero that's the least okay so what can we do <clears throat> this is the gradient this e to the power minus 2x times minus 1 plus tan of x bracket square greater or equal to zero and this is going to go on the other side it's going to get divided you're going to get divided by zero it's going to end up with zero so if we have minus one plus tan x is greater or equal to zero the square goes on the other side becomes the square root of zero is, is uh, zero and what do we end up with tan of x is greater or equal to one and what is tan of x greater or equal to 1? Is x greater or equal to inverse tan of 1? If you check that on the calculator, it's greater or equal to pi upon 4. Therefore, x can be, the least value of x can be pi upon 4. And here we are.